Oh, you know it's not. <laughs> you know it's not. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for asking. One question. Where am I? Who are you and what's going on? It's a lot of questions, mate. You, Eleanor Shellstrop, are dead. Yeah. You are now in the next phase of your existence in the universe. I like that. That's really cool. Sorry, I do know, by the way, I do know that this show is about dying and people are dead. That's all I know about it. I'll be honest with you. So yeah, sorry, the immediate joke was a little bit like informed, right? But also you walk into a place and that's on the wall. You're like, I'm out of this, mate. But yeah, I, I do quite like that though already, already. It's like the existence, like the second part of your existence. It's like, oh, it's, it doesn't end. Do you know what I mean? Cause we do, we do, we do. We're, we're human and we're, we're silly. That's not true necessarily, right? Cause we don't know what happens, but we do. We always see death as an ending, right? I don't know about you, but I always do prefer to see it as, well, maybe not because it's less morbid, isn't it? And you are now in the next phase of your existence in the universe. Awesome, man. Is there pizza though? Cool. I have some questions. Smash them out, dude. How did I die? I, I don't remember. In cases of traumatic or embarrassing deaths. Oh, is it embarrassing? We erase the memory. I like his butterfly bow tie, I'm not gonna lie to you. You dropped a bottle of something called Lonely Gal Margarita Mix for one. <laughs> a long column of shopping carts. No. Rolled out of control and plowed right into you. You can die from that? There's more. You were able to grab onto the front of the column of shopping carts, but it, it swept you right out into the street where you were struck wow. and killed by a mobile billboard truck <laughs> advertising an erectile dysfunction of course. function pill called Engorgulate. Hey, well, at least someone was happy to see her. So who was right? I mean, about all of this. Well, he's called Michael. Hindus are a little bit right. Muslims okay. a little bit. Nice. Already. Every religion guessed about 5%. Fair. Except for Doug Forsett. Wh who's Doug Forsett? Right, who's that? Doug was a stoner kid who lived in Calgary during the 1970s. I know, what did he think? Really high on mushrooms. Doug just launched into this long monologue where he got like 92% correct. Seriously? Couldn't believe wow. what we were hearing. That's him. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> they framed it. <laughs> Amazing. Or bit of both. It's not the cool heaven or hell idea that you were raised on. I like that though because, like, like I say, the one thing I knew was that this is, you know, the afterlife. I honestly I had the question in my head. I was like, how are they going to go about it? Right? Are they going to like take the Christian way? Are they going to go to heaven? I know it's called the good place. People have told me it's kind of good, so I was like, well, that sounds like they're kind of incorporating maybe more than one, and they are. I like it. I like it. You're in the good place. Where's Doug, though? Which one did he get? Do you know what I mean? Oh, did I have a purse? No, I'm dead. Right. <laughs> Must be so freeing. So this is how it works. The good place is divided into distinct neighborhoods. Really? Perfectly selected to blend together into a blissful harmonic really i don't know if i like that you know it's a little too perfect isn't it you're not a bit of anarchy every so often that's all i'm saying what bubba dude sorry i've got an angry cat that's got lots of questions do you know what i mean it just sounds a little bit a little bit mind numbing every detail has been precisely designed and calibrated okay so they like it how do we know that you were good how are we sure during your time on earth cool every... okay we're getting into it every one of your actions had a positive or a negative value to who? Good or bad, that action okay. put into the universe. So we're working with like a like a strict moral code then, yeah? Every sandwich you ate, yeah. every time you bought a magazine. What? Hang on, no, no, no. Stiff a waitress, what is even, I don't wanna know, actually. I can work it out, I can work it out. Hang on a minute, eat a sandwich is a good thing. Man, I mean, I'm so in the positive, I'll be honest with you. Hang on, what are some of these things? Hug sad friend, awesome, I agree with that, that's fair. Pet a lamb, amazing. Poison a river, ooh, minus 4,000, yeah, that's probably correct. Correct, sir. Fix broken tricycle for child who is indifferent to tricycles. That's very specific. Be commissioner of professional football league American. <laughs> Minus 800. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was way too much of a cackle. I, I apologize to the Americans. Save a child from drowning. Fair enough. Pretty, pretty cut and dry in it. And that's not really, is it, to be fair. Disturb coral reef with flipper. Like a, like, like the fish or like a, like, like a foot flipper. The flipper. How do you do that? Like kick it? Use the term bro code. Minus eight. I feel like that should be higher. Politely tolerate stranger recounting new <laughs> New York article at cocktail party. Party, plus six. You should again. That should be bumped up, mate. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, I missed it. I missed it. I want to read them all. I really do. Sorry, this is going to be the whole video. I want to read all of them. You know how. 
I'm so, I took a sip. I took a, I don't know why I took a sip. I knew I was waiting for something and I still just took a sip and out over time and I'll I did it again. I did it again. Okay, no, I caught it though. <laughs> Sorry, if I'm waiting for something, man, I've got to keep myself occupied, okay? Failed to disclose ca what? Camel? Illness when selling camel. Again, they're very specific, aren't they? I bet they had so much fun writing these. End slavery, amazing. Who, hang on, who got that? Do you know what I mean? Like, was it like one person? Was it shared out? It must have been shared out, right? Commit genocide. That's a, a, a big one. Harassment, sexual. Seven. To be fair, just put harassment. Is there subcategories? Harassment's always bad. Remember sister's birthday? Oh man, I am failing. I am failing on those, I'll be honest with you. I don't have a sister that's why <laughs> no sorry no that what i was thinking of was i always forget people's birthdays not because i don't have a sister i have two brothers okay purify water source for a village wow well done tell a woman to smile yes yeah, a good one minus 50 for that shit. overstate personal connection to tragedy that has nothing to do with you minus 42 someone had beef someone that's personal that in it whoever wrote that they, they have beef with somebody scratch elbow why is that 1.47 there's a story there man there's stories behind all of this i want to know blow nose by pressing one nostril down and exhaling oh that is gross yeah so sorry when people do that i feel like there should be like public in brackets if you do it quietly in your own home i mean you can't do that quietly can you really i see people do that stuff or all their spit or something. It's like just stop being a bit swallow. You know what I mean? Anyway, sorry, let's move on. We calculate the total value of your life. Oh, you have to be above one, like above zero or minus zero. Well, with the very highest scores, the true. What? What did she do? What happens to everyone else, you ask? Uh huh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fair. You are here because you lived one of the very best lives. Oh my god, no, you got to stop doing these screenshots because I am going to read them all out. I've got to do it. Drove to out of state disaster site. Oh my god, this, okay, so we're seeing a full score. Hang on, the biggest one. Donated 16.36% of lifetime income anonymously to charities. Damn, dude. Fair play to you. Now we discuss veganism unprompted. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm so negative. No, that's not even true. That's not even true. People ask me about it all the time, okay? It's not my fault. All right, I will absolve myself from blame, okay? Just, can we just stop? Begun to compose social media posts about David Bowie dying and then thought the world doesn't need to hear my thoughts on David Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, fair. I'll give you that. Gracefully ended a conversation about the weather. That's so hard. 90, she did that sh 94 times. This lady's a wizard. Helped mum with her printer. 339 times. Mother, you've got to learn, please. Save a person from a house fire. God. Carefully put spider outside 28 times. God, I need, I've got some work to do, to be fair. Because I haven't, I haven't always been vegan. And I, I spy, oh, mm. They're the devil's creature. They've done nothing to me, to be fair. Just scared me a little bit. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 unfounded. Brought in rags to grocery store. What? Oh, bags. Sorry, I was like, rags? Why would you bring a rag? Amazing. All right, I'm so sorry. Please don't do any more of these screens, please. Your true soulmate is here too. Oh, we're doing that, are we? Okay. Soulmates are real. Right. But my point is, is that you can't ever do anything bad. Oh, no, I'm not saying bad, but do you know, do they have parties and stuff? And do you know what I mean? I just feel like it's too, it's too like peaceful. And, I, and peace is good. Peace is good. Peace is great. All I'm saying is sometimes you need a piece of something else. Do you know what I mean? Am I allowed to drink a beer? Like several beers. So who's in the bad place that would shock me? Mozart, Picasso, Elvis. What did they do? It's an incredibly selective system. Right. Most people don't make it here. Do they not? Whereas other people might have homes that are bigger. Like that one. That's too big though, man. You wouldn't be happy. Come on, mate. Depends, doesn't it, right? So hey, like it looks the, nice inside. That's banging Icelandic though. Good job. You love clowns, so... Do love clowns. This doesn't really. This doesn't feel like her. You are my soulmate. Okay. Cool. Bring it in, man. <laughs> Your English is amazing. I'm actually speaking French. Oh, it's like the TARDIS, mate. Are they in the TARDIS? Is it it plot twist? I have spent my entire life in pursuit of fundamental truths about the universe. Really, the whole time. Together, as soulmates. She's not into it. You'll stand by my side no matter what, right? Oh God. Because those aren't my memories. I wasn't a lawyer. Oh. Uh, I hate clowns. Okay. There's been a big mistake. Don't tell anybody. Okay, you're sorry. I realize I'm saying that while she's telling somebody. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wasn't a death row lawyer who collected clown paintings and rescued orphans. What a bizarre life. Well done though. Somebody royally forked up. Somebody forked up. Oh, you're not allowed to swear. You're trying to curse, you can't hear. Oh, I couldn't do it. Bullshirt. Amazing though, perfect comedy opportunity. You need me to lie to old people and scare them into buying fake medicine. I get it, man. Which one's my desk? <laughs> Your job was to defraud the elderly. Hey man, you don't know her circumstances. I was the top salesperson, five years running. Okay, but that's worse. <laughs> it's a test. 
Maybe if you go to Michael and you tell him the truth. Sounds fake. No way. I can't risk going to the bad place. I don't know, man. It might be better. Maybe it's not actually like all that bad. Right? What is the bad place like? Oh, sorry. That is the one topic I'm not allowed to tell you. Is it because it's a bit better? Like, a, not, not a lot, but like a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Audio clip of what is happening there right now. Okay. <laughs> Well. Well, it doesn't sound awesome. It's true. It's true. Out of context, though. I'm just asking you to fudge a little bit. You must have told a few white lies. I was a professor of ethics and moral philosophy. <laughs> of course he was. Hi. What have you been up to? Oh, it's Jamila. I love your house. It's just so tiny. Oh, you guys are in the big one. I love it. It's just so sweet and <laughs> teensy. Just like you. Don't boop. Don't do that. No, thank you. That's fine. <laughs> no way. Yeah, you gotta keep this secret, man, for as long as possible. Tell me one good thing that you did on Earth. Make it up. Man, please, one. One thing. Um, just tell me something neutral about yourself. <laughs> Hi there. Do you have a second to talk about the environment? Do you have a second to eat my farts? Oh no. To be fair, right? Okay, I, I, I can't tolerate littering. I don't like it. Don't do it. It is harming the environment. Oh god, I'm this guy. Fair enough. Okay, fine, whatever. I was gonna, I was ready. I, I tell you, I, I promise you, I was ready to be on her side because you, like, I sometimes, like, I, I ignore all these people on the street. I get so angry. I'm like, how dare you? I have places to be. I have things to do. If I see him, like, looking at me and they're like, hello, sir, I'm like, no. I don't offer my farts up as an alternative. I do, like, do you know what I mean? And then she lit her, dude, Eleanor. I don't remember anything specific. Wise. I might not have been a saint, but I, it's not like I killed anybody. These people might be good. Are they really that much better than me? And the other half in Saudi Arabia fighting for gay rights. Wow. Move those landmines? We will. And we dug up over a thousand- you can't give me both your kidneys, you'll die. We just met on this bus ten minutes ago, but you seem nice. <sighs> Forget it. <laughs> Well, they can drink, so hey. But no, I feel like there is a through line, like a point here that she's kind of going for. Again, I gotta forget the littering, that's fair to kind of go through with what I'm about to say. But like, I do my philosophy on life, right? And like, pinch of salt, because I don't know everything. Of course I don't. As long as you're going for your own happiness and you're not purposefully going out of your way to harm other people. And I get it, context, context, context is king. Inactivity or apathy in regard to certain things is comparable to supporting said bad thing in some contexts, right? But I do feel feel like in a general sense, right? If you're just kind of living your life, mind your own business, in your own lane, you don't have to be saving orphans or going and fundraising and blah, blah, blah. If you can do that stuff, great, fine, awesome, do that stuff, do you know what I mean? But it's like, also, everybody in life is at different, you know, levels of circumstance and privilege, and we don't all start with the same foundation either. Not being funny, if I knew, for example, that I was never gonna have to want for money in my entire life, I would absolutely be giving up away like 16, 20% of my life earnings to charity because you know, I can. Not everybody can do that. Sometimes even five pounds or whatever it might be is a huge amount of money to a certain person. So my point is, is that there is, I feel like a through line to this episode that like I do support Eleanor with, right? It's kind of like, ugh, come on. You don't, you shouldn't have to be that positively good to get to the good place, I feel. You can just live life and be happy and not necessarily do anything. I guess my point being that you're not necessarily a bad person or you're not a bad person if you aren't one of these people. This is actually the very first neighborhood that I have ever designed. And my boss has finally given me my first solo project. Oh, oh I'm happy for him. Ah, you're gonna do great, man. A perfect world. <laughs> I also think, by the way, as a technique to get the audience into this show, having her be this character and being more normal. Right? Being more of a, I guess, a general example of the every person. I think is a great way to get you in the show, right? I don't think everyone can necessarily compare themselves with doing work in other countries and relief work, charity work, and all this stuff. It's much more relatable as uh, an avenue for the audience into the show through the eyes and with the protagonist being someone that's more like them, someone that's normal in this very abnormal, you know, situation. I think this element of uh, levity that she's bringing, that Ellen is bringing, and normalcy that Ellen is bringing as well combined do just serve to like get you as the audience like into the show in a really nice way right I personally find myself gravitating towards her because of that every single one of you is a good person that's it for me <laughs> and I would just like to quickly say if any of you would like to play tennis <laughs> such fun cheers <laughs> I'm a condescending bench <laughs> I'm to go upstairs real quick and steal a bunch of gold stuff 
Okay, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, creepy house that I hate. Okay, she can't last past like two days. Chidi, Chidi, oh, Chidi. Yeah, I feel a little bit sorry for Chidi. I was an only child. My parents were divorced when I was a kid. They were both crummy people. You're a nice person, Chidi. Anaconda. Anagonye. Okay. Anagonye. Egg. Say it again. Anagonye. No, say what you said before. I did. It's not that hard. I'm so sorry. No, I appreciate she's drunk right now, but also I, f I, I do despise this whole thing of like getting non-white names really wrong. They're not hard to say at all. Sorry, because I, you see this all the time. Uh, people of color get nicknames, or it's like, oh, that's too hard. I'll call you something else. I really don't. I really find it distasteful when, when any show or any media makes jokes out of that, because like it does, it normalizes it, and it's like it's not hard. But like, Anagonye. Anagonye. It's not hard. It just, it perpetuates this idea that white people and white names are the norm and anything else is other. That's all. I say that's all like it's not a big deal. It, it, it kind of is. Well, that's terrifying. Right. I'm very curious as to who's supposed to be here. That can't be good. Uh, <laughs> oh, is it all messed up because she's here? I don't know, man. This looks like a good time. Get rid of the lightning, do you know what I mean? This is all happening because of you. Well, hang on. Let's not jump to conclusions. Admittedly, that's the one I jumped to, but like, come on. Hang on. Not everybody here is perfect, okay? Tahani is totally condescending. And there are a couple of, you know, chunksters. Okay, I see. No, fair enough. Sorry. I think the, uh, I think the name thing. She's, it's clearly just trying to show that she is a bit of a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough, okay? I, I take that on board. There are many ways to know that it was me. <laughs> you don't belong here. Well, then this system sucks. <laughs> One in a million gets to live in paradise and- Okay, good. Yeah, ask questions. Come on. I mean, I wasn't freaking Gandhi, but I was okay. Right, and that's what I was saying. I was a medium person. Sure. Pretty in a medium place. Like Cincinnati. <laughs> this is what I was saying. I feel like it is. It's limiting having one, like two places, dude. Bad place and a good place. I'm just saying, yeah, she's right. Middle place. That's what I'll say. Unless you could teach me how to be good. That was your job, right? Wow. Things only started getting crazy after I was an asshole to everyone at the party. <laughs> oh, stomachache. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nice, nice. Hey, that was fun. That was fun and that's important. Hey, I like it. I think there's a lot of potential. And I don't think it's a coincidence, right? When you're watching the show and obviously the themes and the setting and, and you know, it becomes apparent what the show is about. I don't think it was a coincidence that I started kind of in my own head just questioning, right? And being like, yeah, but hang on a minute. You know, she might be, you know, not the most model human being, but you know, you don't necessarily have to be that to be a good person or not even that, but like not a bad person right and immediately in episode one that gets brought up by her right and i do think there are elements of i think the writers are trying to ellen has said i think they're trying to balance her character and it's verbalized in what she was saying right just at the end there with the medium place and i think it's it's going ways to be like yeah she's not you know a terrible person she's a little bad she's a little good she's got you know both of those she's not exceptionally that or that it's just kind of in the middle i think it's a good question it's a good question and like i say it's fun and it's having fun with it and i'm interested people tell me that you know this it gets into the philosophical stuff and i'm curious like i'm curious do we ever see the bad place i kind of want to see the bad place i'll be honest with you but also yeah straight off the bat questioning you know the status quo and like why is it like this does it have to be is this better is this worse kind of uh, asking the question it's called a good place and we've got the bad place too is that the best system yeah questions questions interesting but um a great fun first episode and uh yeah i look forward to the rest anyway that's it thank you very much for watching that was the good place episode one and um, if you are new to the channel hey subscribe press that bell button as well and hey at the very least uh like comment all that good stuff if you liked the video uh helps me out a great deal thank you as always to my beautiful patrons anything you see on youtube uh, is over on patreon first so early access over there link in the description if you're interested in that but other than that mate uh that's it thank you very much for being here and i will see you very very soon